Good morning. This is the Duke of Fremont Street broadcasting from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States of America. Today is Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. It's just about high noon here, uh, Pacific Standard Time in uh, my uh, beloved Las Vegas. And at this time, I'd like to thank you for uh, tuning in. Salute. So refreshing. Very nice. Uh, the paper market today is uh, is actually up. And yesterday we were uh, we had a dismal day for the precious metals. Um, the way I look at yesterday, we kind of lost a battle, but we're, um, we're winning the war. As time goes by, we're, um, slowly but surely inching up with our, our, uh, paper market prices. And in the real world, as you're well aware, the, uh, the precious metals, oh, incidentally, these are my good ducats. I absolutely love them. Um, I have my own, um, coinage. I could show you one of them. They're kind of cool. They're like a silver dollar size. And uh, they contain 0.999% uh, uh, real silver. I really enjoy having those. And it shows you how much I believe in the precious metals. Anyway, uh, we're having an epic battle, as I mentioned. Uh, between uh, the market going up and the precious metals market going down. Um... Gold and silver both are um, are um, coming on pretty strong right now. And in my opinion, there's no reason why they shouldn't. Gold is currently trading at $1,871.51 bid, pardon me, 50 cents bid by 1872.50 ask. It's currently up $17.40 or point. Nine four percent. Um, this uh, this is a a good day for the uh, gold, and I want you to keep an eye on it because you know right around the corner is nineteen hundred, and if we hit nineteen hundred, I think we'll easily pop up above uh, two thousand per ounce on the gold. And incidentally, gold just surpassed its previous six months six month high of 1781.30. So uh, do keep your eye on, on gold as a barometer. I think uh, we're moving up very nicely. Silver is also up uh, 23.57 bid by 23.67 ask, up by 22 cents or 0.96%, uh, just shy of 1%. Um, this is the the bid and the ask with the uh, paper market, the uh, precious metals market. And I don't really f uh, believe that the paper market is reflecting the actual value of the gold and silver today. With the demise of all the fiat currencies uh, worldwide, in particular the US dollar, um, gold and silver don't have to rise. They just maintain their value while the, um, the fiat currencies decline in purchasing power. Um, oh, while we're at it, the Dow Jones is uh, currently uh, 34,670.05 down 318.79. The Dow has had like a seesaw going the last well, almost since the uh, beginning of the year. So um, keep your eye on that also. I currently don't, uh, don't believe in the, uh, in the, uh, the, uh, uh, the indices. I don't believe in the Dow Jones. I don't believe in Bitcoin. I don't believe in bonds. I'm strictly a precious metal advocate. I believe in tangibles. Uh, if you, if you have it in your hand, it belongs to you. If not, uh, good luck with that one. Um, this is a perfect time, in my opinion, to acquire 
the precious metals, in particular silver. There's an old saying, you never buy at the low and you never sell at the high. Um, a perfect example of this years ago, I, uh, I was in Giftport, Mississippi. I'd lived down on the Gulf Coast many, many years as a Mississippi riverboat gambler. I had fond memories of those days. And I had one of the dealers there selling me silver dollars at $5 each, just as they were. They could be Car they could be Carson Cities. They could be anything. We didn't know. They're peace or whatever. Just bags of silver dollars. So I would pay him 5000 a bag and then um, turn around and sell him for 6000 a bag. Uh, needless to say, all good things come to an end. And eventually he said, Duke, I've got to raise the price on these silver dollars. They're now going to cost you $6 a piece. I was uh, adamant that I was not getting a good deal, and I decided not, to not purchase them. And I told him I can't pay the six and walked out, never saw him again. Boy, do I lament over that one. <laughs> you know, that was what I would consider an epic failure in judgment. Um, things change. What's the old saying? Time marches on with or without us. Oh, oh speaking as such, uh, one of my motives for being involved with the precious metals and collectibles for that matter is uh, my passion for preserving what precious little is left of uh, the beauty and the style and the class and the history that, uh, that a lot of these items represent. For example, this is a beautiful, beautiful cruet set that I uh, that I picked up years ago from one of my uh, friends and associates. And uh, at the time, he told me it was a vintage around in that gorgeous vintage seventeen uh, forties or so. So uh, you know, if you think about the actual silver price, the intrinsic silver is very little, but the historic, beautiful. Artistic value is is absolutely priceless. And I think that's what makes me feel so uh, passionate about um, what, I, what I'm doing today and have done for over 50 years. I live in Las Vegas by choice as a poker player and I've just started playing poker again. Um, Las Vegas is a different type of culture. There's, there, I think there's a lot of culture here. It's a very uh, fascinating, place on the planet but it's a society where things are uh, transformed imploded destroyed buried perfect example they're going to take the uh, mirage the world famous mirage has been bought out by another company and they're going to take the volcano and all the fountains and destroy all that and create something different i uh, i personally don't uh, like this, but that's my opinion is only my opinion. I like preserving these beautiful, beautiful um, things that people come from all over the world to see. So uh, if you are like me and you appreciate uh, art and history, culture, style, class, um, tradition, I think you and I are going to, uh, to uh, get along just fine. The uh, the way I acquire my items, I call myself and others call me a Las Vegas treasure hunter. And I truly am I'm in motion 24 seven. And I could be literally anywhere on the planet and I've always got my eyes open for, uh, for items of interest, uh, items that are, um, that, that appeal to me either from their history or their, their, uh, their beauty. So, um, Incidentally, I'll be doing a couple shows this weekend, and one of the reasons I do the shows is not only for a revenue stream, but I do that to meet people such as yourselves. Um, I set up and display at various shows, um, collectible shows, bottle shows, gun shows, coin shows, um, that sort of thing, uh, casino collectible shows. And it gives me an opportunity to visit with like-minded folks and to do a little uh, trading and perhaps um, acquiring of the of the uh, new items that I love. I always say I'm um, always buying and only sometimes selling. 
Anyway, if you uh, are like me and, and uh, enjoy this, I invite you to continue watching my videos and, uh, and suggest to me topics of discussion uh, to give me your questions, which I absolutely love your questions. I thank you guys for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon. To your wealth and to your health. Salute. As I mentioned before, I have a passion for this and I'm always buying. When, not if, but when you decide to come to Las Vegas, please make it a point to give me a call in advance. My phone number is 702-561-9431. And let me know you're coming to town and we'll, uh, we'll make it a point to get together. And perhaps I can uh, uh, buy something from you, uh, gold or silver related, or uh, sell something to you. Uh, I just love that, it's in my blood. Um, so like I said, I'm easy to find. Uh, call me anytime. And uh, in the meantime, uh, if you are, if you like my videos, please uh, give me a thumbs up and please uh, uh, share my videos with your friends, family, and associates. You all stay well, and I hope to see you soon in my beloved Las Vegas. So long.